Hey friends, it's me, Taina, but everyone calls me TT, and welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna be talking about Nair. For sure, there's a lot of teens, preteens out there, or even adults that haven't used Nair because you know they have a lot of questions about the product. So you know, since I've used it, and I've re I recently just started using it, and I'm what? I'm 19, about to be 20. I recently just used it and with the experience of using Nair, I'm going to be sharing my knowledge about it with you. Okay, so first question, does it really work? Yeah, it works. Like when I tell you it's like magic, it, it does work, but you have to leave it on at a certain time. like. The most I leave it on is like 10 minutes. I don't ever leave it longer than 10 minutes. It even says it on a bottle like eight to 10 minutes. I don't ever leave it on like longer than 10 minutes. I'm too scared to do that. I don't know. I feel like maybe like something's gonna fall off and not just the hair be gone. Like the hair is gone just like that. Like just like that. Like and the hair is gone. So it don't you have to use a razor with it. But yes, it really does work. It does get rid of the hair. Like it doesn't matter how long the hair is. You you slap that in your on, leave it in for long minutes, 10, and it's gone. So yes, it does work. Second question is, isn't it bad for your pH balance? You can use Nair under your armpit, for your legs, or you know, you know the hair in your booty hole like we're gonna be mature about it um you yeah you could use like what most girls use for that wop that cuckoo that punani that cooch cooch you know the, <coughs> the pussy. you can't use it down there but you just gotta be very very careful how you use it down there like you gotta be very very careful very careful if you're gonna be using it down there Take your time with it because you don't want to accidentally like actually go in your like and then you know next thing you know you like it's burning and stuff like make sure it don't get on your your pussy lip neither because it's gonna burn it is because that's like a sensitive area so you just really have to put it on the hair and just be careful when you do it question three how do you apply it so the Nair bottle I have is this one. See it? See it? This is the bottle that I have. And it came with a little cotton pad, but it came with one, like a one, like one cotton pad. So I could, so I could put it on and then apply it wherever, like under my armpit or like the wop. Yeah, that. You just put it on there, apply it, and then you just leave it on. Leave it on for eight, nine, ten minutes. Le yeah. Leave it on like eight, eight to ten minutes. Do I apply it? I apply it like real soft like this, like a brush. You do not want it. Don't use your hands. You don't want it to get on your hands or nothing. That. And then I like I rinse rinse the cotton pad off, and then once ten minutes has gone by, like it's ten minutes, I get in the shower. Do not let the water directly hit the nair. Do not let it directly hit where you put it at. I don't know why it said it on the bottom. Wet the cotton pad that you put it on, wet it with water, and then don't rub it off. That's dangerous. I've never rubbed it off, but I know on the bottle it says don't rub it off. So you just wipe it off. You could wipe it up. Up, you could wipe it all down. Just be gentle. Like it's gonna be easier on your armpit, or I guess near your like booty hole, but it's gonna be you gotta really take your time if you're gonna put it on that wop. You know what I'm saying? And then after you got most of it off, I'm telling you, it like it literally wipes it off clean. It's like gone. Just like that just like that and then after you got it all off then you can like you know 
finish Wash your, your floor. shower. Do you still get like razor box? Yes, you do. I used to do get razor bump from my like ingrown hair or whatever. But to keep that from happening, this is what I do personally. Personally. Works for me. After, you know, I used it, washed up. I get, well, you should be doing that anyways. I exfoliate the what? Yes. Exfoliate it with like dove like you know dove exfoliating body scrub or like any good body scrub just exfoliate it you know rinse my body off of warm cool water and then after i get out the shower i don't know if anyone else does this but i smear vaseline yes i smear when i do this i really don't get i really don't get razor bumps when i do that i don't exfoliate it and add vaseline and bio oil Period. For me, like it's not like I'm putting it in it. Like I'm putting it on like on the wop, not in the wop. You know what I'm saying? So I don't when I do that I don't I don't get razor bumps. I don't. So exfoliate, um, you know, rinse off with cool warm water, use Vaseline, buy oil, and then done. And then usually yeah, so anytime I exfoliate, exfoliate the wop and then do that same thing. And I usually exfoliate like what? two three times a week two times a week is enough for me anyways you know you ever seen those tiktok videos you know what gynecologists are talking about you know products that you're you're not supposed to be using down there and you know for some reason nair always pops up i don't think there's a problem i know like i can't argue with a professional but it's not like i'm putting it in i'm putting it on like you know on on where I want the hair to be removed. And then I use natural products after that. And if you think like, you know, after you use it, exfoliate your armpit, your legs. You just gotta be real, real careful when you use it, really. Cause if you're not careful, you can burn your lips. You can cause a yeast infection. If you're not careful, just be careful. Question five, is it worth it? Duh, it's totally worth using it. Totally worth it. I don't care. It's worth it. It's quick. You don't have to like, you don't have to worry about cutting yourself and use a, like a razor or something. It's so annoying. Razor, but it's not like I'm like, with the razor. Totally worth it to use it. Just be careful when you're using it. Take your time with it. It's like, I'm here. No, I'm not. Wait, I'm here. No, I'm not. Like, that's how fast it works. That's how good it works. So it's definitely worth it. If you haven't used it yet and you had some question about, about it and question about using it or not, these are my advices. This is me giving you information because I've used it before. Still use it Go get now. you one if you, if you don't want to use razors no more. And that's it. So I hope that answered all your questions about Nair, gave you good answers, some good advice too while using it. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, you know, help your girl out. If I'm helping you out by giving you advice, you can help me out by, you know, liking it, comment, and subscribing. And you know, turn the post notification bell on. Stay tuned and see more of videos like this. Bye.